Hi, kiddos. <laughs> and so it's the Burton crew going to uh, a pastor's meeting with Brian Simmons. And uh, on the way, I want to talk to you about something that is crazy, crazy important. I tweeted and posted to Facebook yesterday something that we really have to figure out. We need to understand this. It was directed at pastors and leaders. The reality is, if we spend our primary time, energy, and focus on our local efforts, meaning our local church, then we cannot expect to experience revival. Um, if we want to experience revival, we're going to have to spend our primary energy and time regionally with other leaders. Otherwise, we will only yield local results. And, you know, that makes sense. We focus locally. That's going to be the extent of our impact. And uh, it's a big issue. You know, here we are in, uh, it's March now, and there's so much, I mean, so much prophecy around this, uh, uh, the fireplace meetings. I mean, it's just kind of crazy. And uh, every pastor in Detroit should be at these meetings. You know, unless, you know, I understand that there's, there's, uh, there's some other events that were already scheduled. Like I know, for example, Leonard Jones is, is going to be uh, uh, in, a, in a few different churches, including mine. And so there's people that are involved in that. And I know that there are other things that were pre-planned. So I get that. We have to stay committed. Uh, you know, to the things God's given us to, to be uh, involved in. But everybody else absolutely has to be at these meetings. I'm going to this pastor's luncheon right now. And, uh, you know, and, and, and we're doing our best to get the word out. I understand if no one has heard. Uh, you know, it's a big region. And uh, so we're doing our best to get the word out. But we have got to listen to the prophetic mandate, the prophetic call, the, uh, the alarm, the, the trumpet that's sounding and we've got to gather together. And so, so I, you know, I'm huge into this. I believe that we need to be very uh, uh, intentional on being together. We can't just be focusing on our own local thing. Uh, you know, we can't, you know, for, an ex for example, today's Saturday, it might be easy to have an excuse of, you know, well, I need to get ready for church on Sunday, and so I'm not going to participate on a, on a corporate level today on a Saturday. And, and if that's your mindset, then that's something that absolutely has to be resolved. You've got to expand your focus because, you know, biblically, the church is identified by its geographical location in a region, not on a, not on a street corner. And so the church of Detroit is the church that all of us around here are on staff with, you know, every local church pastor is on the staff of the city church. And I think about it like this, you know, when I was at IHOP, there was all sorts of, you know, big ministry, lots of different departments, lots of different things going on. But whenever Mike Bickle would call an all staff meeting, everything would, almost everything, almost everything would shut down for that meeting. For, and uh, they would show up. The only exceptions being if people had, you know, pre, a, a, a pre, a pre, a pre commitments that they couldn't get out of. And so, same thing on a city level. For example, this revival's busting in Dearborn, and I think that, you know, every night of the week we should be in that building every night. And everything else, almost everything else should be shut down, you know, and uh, cancel your, you know, cancel your, 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 your event. Oh, and uh, cancel everything for the sake of responding to the apostolic prophetic mandate over Detroit to gather together for the sake of this outpouring. And, and bottom line is, if people don't show up, the people, the remnant, those that are called, 
then hopes of revival diminish significantly. But a lot of people don't think that way. They think that, well, if God's going to do it, he's going to do it, and when he does it, I'll show up. That's why revival doesn't happen hardly ever. <laughs> We've got the wrong mindset that we're just waiting around for it to blow up, and then we'll show up. Well, the only way it's going to blow up is if we show up. We've got to be involved. We've got to be radically devoted. We've got to put everything else, personal pursuits, dreams, projects, on the altar, and we've got to we've got to participate in this. So, just wanted to uh, you know encourage you in that, and uh, by all means show up so we can blow up because we we need you. You're a very very important part of this. If you're watching this and you live in this region, you should be at these meetings unless you have something else going on. All right. Let me know what you think. John at johnburton.net. Say bye, kiddos. Bye.